Well, good afternoon, B-League Basel fans. Welcome to the north of Japan at Hokkaido for today's game in the Japanese B-League between Lobanga Hokkaido and the visitors, the team with the very best record in the Japanese B-League, Utsunomiya Brex. Well, the Japanese B-League postseason drawing nearer and nearer and at the moment. The Brex putting themselves back into contention to try and make the playoffs this season. And not only that, bring home a second championship after winning in 2022 against the Chiba Jets. Well, of course, the Utsunami of Brex, they came here yesterday. They won in fine fashion. There are your B-League standings. As you can see, Brex currently 44 and 8 this season. A very impressive record, followed by Albach Tokyo. While Lavenga Hokkaido currently second bottom of the exact same position. Well, it's going to be an interesting fight for the Wildcat. you got the likes of Sun Rock and Shibuya, Chiba Jets, and, of course, the Hiroshima Dragonflies all competing the position to get into the Japanese B-League playoffs via the wild card. Well, again, if you saw this game yesterday between Lavenga Hokkaido and Utsunomiya Brex, the Brex Nations showing exactly why they are the team with the very best record. And of course, Hokkaido Lavenga did leave with a 79-71 victory. Was that just a surprise victory, of course, between these two teams? No one can argue that these Arcade Lavenga players are key and they are very good. The 43 year old Yuta Tabuse, if you know anything about him, he was the first Japanese born player to play in the NBA 2004 5. He did briefly play with the Phoenix Suns. And here's your lineup, of course, for the Brex, the team chasing another championship this year. With the addition of Gavin Edwards this season, where they brought in Grant Jarrett last year, has really helped the front court. DJ Newbill along with Japanese shooter Seiji Ikaruga, not to mention Makoto Hiyajima. Now, when you look at Yuta Tabuse, he's not the only veteran on this team. You've also got Kasuke Takeuchi. If you remember, he actually featured for Japan at the 2006 FIBA World Championship that was hosted in Saitama, Japan. Well, Yusuke Endo will be in the starting lineup along with Seiji Ikaruga. Gold make up DJ Newville, not to mention the likes of Gavin Edwards, and of course the big man from New Zealand, Isaac Fosu. Well, that's your starting lineup, of course, for your Utsunami of Brax, a team looking to chase yet another championship. A city that's only just two hours outside of Tokyo to the north, historically known as Tojigi Brax. Coached by Yoshio Sasa, who was an assistant when they won the championship back in 2022. But Jennifer looking to turn things around here today. As they're back to win the way. Two of the key highlights for the Utsunomiya Brex yesterday. And it was indeed a surprise victory for Hokkaido okay, Lavanga. Not many people expecting them to come out with a big victory here at home against the team with the very best record. But that's the argument. Is that you could say this Lavanga Hokkaido team, there is talent, but they just don't always play well together. Well, we try this addition. He has made a big, big force of change so far in the front court for Lavanga Hokkaido. He's probably one of the best centers in the Japanese B League. Just so big and physical. That's a key three pointer. Myri Travis trying to make things happen from the backcourt, picking and popping. Just do everything he can. Well, there are the stats from yesterday, of course. Lavanga Hokkaido, a big victory for them, winning 79 71. Got a three point shooting night. They made nine out of 30, just under 30%. You can see the Brex, but it was free throws in the end that did decide this game. Getting to the free throw line for 26 attempts and only missing two of those free throw attempts. And that is very impressive for this team. But we have to ensure that indeed we keep this kind of pressure going forward because the Brex will be here trying to turn things around. Well, we'd like to say good morning to all of our D-League international fans, and if you would like a shout-out, please introduce yourself. Let us know your name. 
And also, let us know which team you're supporting. Are you supporting Utsunomi and Brett? Are you supporting, Utsunomi and Brett? Are you supporting Hawkeye and Levin? And where are you currently watching this game in the world? Key players you want to look out for here for Mavenga Hakaeda. I mean, this is a very talented team, but the problem is getting them to play together for 40 minutes has been a challenge. And the import players are Reed, Travis, Carol Willis, Dwight Ramos from Pilas, Filipinas. And also, Jamal Brooks. And if you look at some of the key domestic players, you get the likes of Shuto Terrazano, Sukasa Nakano, and not to mention Kohei Sakino. The key player in the back row is going to be Ren Shimatani for Hockey de la Venga. Well, there's Dar Darrell Willis. He's been injured for the past few games. And he's going to have a very big performance here at home in front of the passionate crowd as they look to go 2 0 against La Venga Hockey de I'd like to give another shout out to Tugboat, currently watching from Portland, Oregon, the United States of America. So, welcome, brother. I've definitely seen you on previous beat league games before, but now we're going to get set to introduce the starting five here for Mavanga Hokkaido, your home team in this matchup in the Japanese beat league. Remember, this is the second game in this doubleheader when these two teams met yesterday. Mavanga Hokkaido shocked the entire basketball world for that matter when they defeated. The team with the best record in the Japanese B League, 79 to 71. Can Lavanga Hokkaido repeat the same success today? But now we'll get set here to introduce your starting five for Lavanga Hokkaido. There is your starting five tonight for your Lavanga Hokkaido, and the three referees are ready for showdown. And it's going to be an exciting game in the Japanese B League. Well, Lavanga Hokkaido, of course, coached by the man who did get them through the victory yesterday, Hikaru Onodera. And there are your starting lineups between these two teams. And it's going to be a defensive matchup in the backcourt of Ren Shimatane. They, of course, keep going up against a very tough matchup in Seiji Ikaruga. Isaac Foto will be taking on Demont Brooks. While Reed Travis, he will go up against the great Gavin Edwards. Probably one matchup everyone's looking to is Yuta Matsushita, number 66 for Lavenga Hokkaido. You will have to defend DJ Newbill, that man right there.
Well, as the great Jeff Taylor would say, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the Japanese B-League as we get this one underway. We need to turn things around. Losing yesterday to Hokkaido Lavenga. That's a disappointment for them. They have the best record in the B-League. And already getting a three-pointer from downtown by Yusuke Endo. Yusuke Endo, 34 years of age, was part of the Brex team that won the championship against the Lincoln Golden Kings back in 2022. Already a turnover here for Lavanga Hokkaido. He's looking to push this one. And they go for another deep threat again. This man, confidence is contagious. Could be a problem here early on for Lavenga Hokkaido if they don't sort themselves out because defensively they have a tough night defending the perimeter shooting of Tsunami of Brex. He's trying to, try to go take a coffee just like to take quite a volume amount of three pointers for a center, but it's more effective inside the paint. Karuga from the free throw line. Nowhere to go here. Foul is going to be called on the ground. It's going to be the first team foul for either of these two teams. It's one thing about Isaac Koto. He knows how to cement himself. They got the switch on defense due to the pick and roll. Koto, the experienced New Zealander. Made two threes, trying to go up the backboard, and he's not able to convert. Now, here come Lavenga Hakaido. We have another ball screen going for a deep three. Holding again, nothing dropping. The lead Travis getting the rebound. And in the end, he's fouled by DJ Newbill. So, Travis will go to the free throw line for two shots. Hawkeye is still scoreless. And now they come over to still looking for that first field goal. Pokemon Brooks tries to look from downtown, can't get it. And he does not often take many three pointers. Looks like they may have to mix things up to go 2 0 against the Brex. It will be a very tough task here tonight for Lovenga Hokkaido. Boto twisting, turning, making the jump hook, and now all of a sudden it's an 8 0 lead here to the champions of 2022 is Lobanga Hokkaido. Big cool timeout. Well, I'd like to give some shout outs to those currently watching live on YouTube. Shout out to Tan. Shout out to Connie Manong Song, my apologies. And shout out to Tugboat, who's currently watching in Portland, Oregon. Well, if you are watching this live YouTube stream, let us know where in the world you're watching and which team are you supporting? Are you supporting It's Not Me and Brex, the visitors, or are you supporting Lavenga Hokkaido?
Ring Hawkeye is still looking for the first buck for three. He's on it beautifully. Tucked away by Ram Shimatani, getting that first three points of the game. Well, Tugboat, currently watching live on YouTube. I agree with you, Tugboat. Everybody's definitely one of the best three-point shooters in Japan. DJ Newville draws a foul against Matsushita. Well, that's another foul here for Lavenga Hokkaido. It's going to indeed be the second team foul here in the first quarter. Down, another foul is called. Okay, so we pulled on Matsushita, so two fouls are running defensively. Probably going to struggle here against DJ Newbill. Well, Matsushita will go to the bench. He'll take a breather as Kohei Sakino comes back or comes into the game. And the worry for Lavenga Hokkaido is going to be. Inability to take care of DJ Newville. Uh, picking up two fouls. Karuga turning it over. Now Lavanga Hokkaido come up with it. Works trying to force his way to the bucket. Twisting, turning, no foul called. He's actually falling back to Utsunami and Brex. And another foul is going to be called. This one I think is going to be called against yeah, Jamal Brooks. So 14 fouls already against Lavanga Hokkaido. Gotta give a big shout out to my guy from Vancouver, BC. What's up, Sid Gods? My guy tuning in to Beely Games every day, every week. Legend Sid Gods. Hope you're well, brother. We go close to three. Third one now for Utsunami and Brex. Oh, DJ, rewind that one back one more time. Three point lead for the visitors. The team with the very best record here in Japan. 44 victories so far this season for the Brex. Lavenga Hokkaido is only made a three, but now Brooks getting an offensive rebound. Brooks will be going to the free throw line here. Unless they pulled the foul on the ground, which I don't think they did. Let's have a look at the replay. Foul is going on the ground, so no free throws here for Jamal Brooks. Welcome to Ace Bandahala. To my knowledge, I thought he was available today, but it doesn't appear so. So no Dwight Ramos for Lavanga Hokkaido. Brooks going ball school. Now they go for another long one. This one just rolls its way in and out, so the Brooks get it back. It's not me and Brooks looking to go up by double digits. Defense by Jamal Brooks, but they don't recover in time. John Jarrett wasn't quite ready for the post entry. Don't let you fade away. Well, I agree. Reading the comments, no Dwight Ramos just definitely affects. And then you have Kaido and I say, everyone's going to be converted. Again, it was a beautiful execution. Jamal Brooks set the screen, rolled straight to the bucket. And the bounce pass beautifully executed by. Oh, he oh, yeah, a nice little dunk coming. But why not go to that option every time? One play converted. Coming down to a five point ball game with just over 5.05 to go here in the first quarter. Well, Grant Jarrett joined the foul, so it's going to be another foul here against Utsunomi Abrex. This is only the full T foul. 
Very interesting play though because every time they've got the ball inside the post, the Red Hawk would have looked much more dangerous. Tony Sakina so far has been called for another foul, and now the free throw line here for Brex. Indeed, Gavin Edwards, the former Chiba Jets player last season, did make it to the final of the B League. Losing two, the rookie Golden Kings. Something going. Time's winding down. Willis checking the game. The three is up and beautifully tucked away by Darrell Willis. Trying to play it with a bit of confidence here. Willis was injured for the last few games and he returned. Made a big difference. He's still leading by four points. Trying to extend the lead. So Kino trying to match up with DJ Nugo. Newville from no man's land hitting the big time three pointer. Well, DJ Newville causing all sorts of problems here at the moment. It's the suffocating permanent shooter from DJ Newville. And now 340 to go here in the first quarter. Still seven point lead now at the moment to Usnamir Brex. to take care of business down that end of the floor. Now Edwards, pin pop, makes the mid-range. And Brock's off line, 36 years of age, veteran player Gavin Edwards. And he's been there, he's done that at all levels. He played for the Japanese national team at the 2022 Tokyo Olympics. 2021, I should say. Sorry, keep my math right on that. It was actually brand in 2020, but the whole year later, another three-pointer. Well, Vanga Hokkaido, they gotta keep believing in themselves with Shuto Terrazano making it rain from downtown. Sid, guys, do not waste your time arguing with a guy for his guys, but he comes in every week and he copies and pastes. There's another bit of rain, beautifully iced away. When you talk about another player, Hinori Watanabe was a part of this championship. It's not near Brex team in 2022. Sid, guys, I'd love to come and say BCL Asia. I'm waiting for the opportunity, brother. But again, number three. <laughs> we're going to Hokkaido living and dying by the three pointers at the moment. And we're going to have uh, to um, his dark club. Yes. We have a name for him in the UK. We call him Billy. Billy no mates because we are kind of just trolling because he gets the younger. And the Hokkaido trailing by five points. Mom Brooks taking the handoff. It's all been perimeter shooting so far from the home team. Finds Willis. Playing around the defense. Willis step. Tries to get the AM1, but Darrell Willis will go to the free throw line. What's the good thing about Darrell Willis? He's predominantly a power forward, but. Can stretch the perimeter with his shooting, but also can put the ball on the floor. Yes, Starkov, we know you copied and pasted the same thing for like five minutes. Dude, it is Sunday morning. Go get a coffee. If you look down the local supermarket, they also sell lives. I highly recommend you get one.
The free throw is not converted, and still Zakov has not got a life yet. But still, it is a four-point lead to Utsunami Abrex. Well, Brex trying to push this one even further. Ron Jarrett just bleeding his way inside the bucket. Well, Ron Jarrett joined Utsunami Abrex last season. And they fell short of playoff expectations when trying to defend their BLE championship. Well, the Hawkeye to try and live from the perimeter yet and still in this game. Works with all the momentum. Folks are getting hand up. That's not a draws a foul. That's going to be free throws coming up. And it's the one criticism I do have. Well, the Hawkeye okay, is backwards. They give away just too many unnecessary fouls. Talk about there's quite a few more BLE games left, of course, that we had near the playoffs. So, obviously, top two teams in each conference automatically qualify for the playoffs. And the remaining two positions go to wildcard teams. Chiba Jets, favorite so far to get the number one wildcard spot. Well, the mooing, you always hear at the Hawkeye okay, Arena is whenever the free throws been taken. And now you're probably hearing some of the visiting Utsunami of Brex booing. The current free throw has been taken by Tsukasa Nakano. Well, there are the free throw percentages so far here from Nakano and his Mavanga Hawkeye teammates. Now with under 45 seconds left here in the first quarter. East Gando's been on fire so far. He's going, doesn't get the arm wall, but two free throws coming up for Isaac Fotu. Well, Isaac Fotu, son of the great Manu Fotu. He was a professional rugby player. Let me tell you, one of the greatest as well. Fotu was actually born in the United Kingdom and then moved to New Zealand with his family at a very young age. And let me tell you something about Isaac Fotu. He's an MVP off the court, and he's an MVP on the court. On the court, he's the most valuable player. Off the court, Isaac Fotu is the most valuable person. Isaac Fotu, many years playing for Piro Cameron for the New Zealand national basketball team. He used to play professionally in Europe. They joined Utsunomi of Brex in 2021. Winning the B-League Championship with the Mayer. It's not Aaron goes in. Well, that's a case of Lavenga Hokkaido. They had their very last donut. But nobody cool box out as Grand Jarrett went in and just jammed that one. Final shot here in the first quarter. Lavenga Hokkaido trailing by eight points. As the penetration pulls up inside the key, but just cannot connect. Now, Brex have a bit of time now. Down to Fotu, turn around, goes up, and just rolls its way in and out. And Basel fans end the first quarter indeed. It's Nami of Brex, who did lose yesterday by eight points. The Lavenga Hawk had a currently lead by eight points at the end of the first quarter. We'll be back in just under two minutes.
welcome back fans. The second quarter about to get on the way here between Lovanga Hokkaido and Utsunomiya Brex. We're currently in the main one lead to the Brex. So Lovanga giving the first possession, making the first two points. That's all to stop the second quarter. Brock Jarrett just going to the ground. Hopefully, he's okay. That's a bit of a worrying sign for uh, Utsunami Abrex. I don't know if it was a shot to the chest or something, but again, hopefully it's not too serious. Oh, that looks painful. Completely incidental. No deliberation by Tsukasa Nakano, but it looks like he's gone into the side of the ribs of Grant Jarrett. I think what's happened, Tsukasa Nakano's running, doesn't see where Grant Jarrett is, but he's gone straight into the bottom ribs. He's usually are quite vulnerable. So hopefully this is not too serious. Brex players come on the court. They could be walking out. If you know anything about breaking a rib, things will really intensify later on. So like I said, hopefully he will be okay. The Brex fans right behind the Utsunomiya bench. Sid does, yeah, it does terrify because so much rib that is also cartilage that if you break it, it's, it's, I mean, I've broken my ribs in the same position many times. It is absolutely excruciating. It takes a while to recover, that's a problem. He's kicking this one out here for the Rex. He's got Uga now, pulls up for a three, this one's up. And he's out of bounds. It's going to go possession back to Lavanga Hokkaido. Lavanga Hokkaido looking chip into the depths of Darrell Willis. Back into the game for Hokkaido. To get the space and ride along with Reed Travis. Goes up a quick mid range. This one's up and again, beautifully iced away for the mid range. Shito Terrazano, one of the key players in the backcourt. Now it's a two possession bowl game. That was going to be called against. Now it's going to be called against Terrazano, I believe. Again, an unnecessary play, but look at the shift, shake, and bake here. Each of the veteran trying to stay in front of him, but it's to no avail here. So he will attack the bucket, he gets fouled, he will go to the free throw line. Another foul against Lavanga Hokkaido. And he will quickly. The last two years has probably become one of the most exciting import players here in the Japanese B League. And here come the moves. Funny, I don't seem to read any comments from Zdarkov recently. I probably wonder what's. Maybe. I mean, I did say go get a life, so probably went to look for one. Who knows? But DJ Newville at the free throw line. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, went to Penn State, leaving in 2015. Started his poker in France, also played in Belgium, New Zealand, Poland. He played in Russia before joining Osaka Avesa in 2020. Six point lead to Utsunami Abrex. Tugboat, I gotta tell you, brother, I love the moves as well. Every time I hear the moves here in Hokkaido, I just kind of want a glass of milk at that point. Some cookies, maybe.
I'm winding down the shot clock, but a foul is going to be called against Isaac Fotu. Well, Fotu so used to being coached in a system where you come out and you aggressively switch right here. He's clearing that foul to prevent Shuto Terrazano, or Sukasa Nakano, excuse me, from gaining any advantage whatsoever. Time winding down, got to get something going. Oh, Reed Travis going for the fadeaway, and Big Bam looking like Michael Jordan, maybe in an orange jersey full of Venga Hokkaido. The foul has been called on the ground, it's against Hiroto Kikuchi. Oh, both teams, two team fouls here in the second quarter. Here in the second quarter, Newville been on fire so far, looking for Isaac Fotu. Watanale, did he get it off in time? No, I think that's going to be a 24 second violation. So that's good defense. Great job defensively by Ran Shimatane, not allowing Watanabe to go baseline. Coach Onodera, knowing at the moment. Team probably counting the playoffs, but they can take a lot of inspiration off of yesterday's victory. Everything to keep Lee Travis off the rebounds is Kasuke Takuchi. And he pulls the foul, so free throws coming up for Big Man Reed Travis. The rebound. Bumped off the head of DJ Newbill. Gucci getting pulled for the foul. Made his first two, but he's got a little bit cold at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Build something here. In the time of isolation, finds Reed Travis. He's got a game up. The three is good. Well, he struggled this season from the three point line, but no problem for Reed Travis on that tray ball. Well, he picketh, he poppeth, and he maketh. The three pointers. Hang on now, we'll be back in just under one minute. of Reed Travis this season for the Vanga Hawks yeah. definitely has improved the offensive and defensive game but only with the missing at the moment is another backscore shooting guard backcourt shooting guard that is 
is definitely a plethora of great point guards and they do have a Lavenga Hokkaido. And they've got great post players, but having a small forward slash shooting guard, someone with Dwight Ramos would help the team immensely. Defense, 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 defense. It's a game of 28 apiece. Ready to go now. He will penetrate, throws the foul, goes in. I think they're going to call an offensive foul on DJ Newbill. Oh, well, is that the right call? Because the defense had hands all over him in my mind. Oh, have to see the replay. What's the, well, that's the right call. Actually, yeah, Newbill throws him to the ground. That is the correct call. Going for the post up. That's it for drop, and finally, Lavenga Hokkaido have their first lead in the game with another six minutes left here in the second quarter. What a game we've had so far between these two teams. The foul has been called. Again, Lavenga Hokkaido just picking up too many fouls. That's the 13 one so far. 542 to go here in the second quarter. Go we'll go for a deep one. I need to get this. Now Lavenga Hakeda trying to extend on the lead of the moments. Looks kicks this out, finds the castle Castle Kano, but no good on the three. And an offensive rebound has been solidified. Time winding down the shot clock. Have to get something going here. And have the three decide not to go for it, but in the end, getting the mid-range. Dying seconds of the shot clock is Matsushita. That's huge. Halfway to go here in the second quarter. Biggest lead for Lavanga Hokkaido, four points. Another turnover, it's now three on two. Matsushita finds Brooks, goes in looking like a baby Magic Johnson on that one. And all of a sudden, Lavanga Hokkaido flipped this game upside down. And they have the momentum. Utsunami and Brex, they cool timeout. Is there on the back foot? We'll be back in just under one minute. Well, here's a turnover. Matsushita went down the middle, so three on two. And I saw Magic Johnson, but Jamal Brooks look at, looking like a baby James Worthy. Look how this man runs so quickly on the fast break, and he finishes to perfection. 6-1 lead to Lavanga Hokkaido. Get things back in the way. 
And now it's a six point lead to Lavanga Hokkaido. Inside the lane, LeBlanc struggling at the moment. He wouldn't think the team with the greatest record in the B League. If he had any troubles, as Burke goes in, doesn't make it. Come on, Burke has to finish. Well, you can see the Utsunami and Brex coaching staff demanding an unsportsmanlike like foul be called. They may have an argument there. And the foul is going to be called against. Let's the replay. And the foul was called against Ren Shimatani. So, we kind of have to agree with the coaching staff now. And to me, it looked like a deliberate stop of the transition. As Norio Sasa was infuriated. Coach is putting the moves on, twisting, turning. It's a good move, but he's able to get the angle on it. And right now, Utsunami and Brax being tested by the storm of Lavanga Hokkaido. We just need to know how to break it down at the moment. There's a penetration, there's a contact. Another, no, an offensive foul is going to be called. So Brax will get it back with 3.55 to go here in the first half. There must be an elbow set of something to Inori Watanabe. Brian Jarrett checks back into the game now for the Brex. The three coming up again. Nothing but that by Watanabe. 36 years of age, the veteran player for the Brex. Remember, no Makoto Hiyajima here tonight. And so far, Watsonabe stepping up big time. And Uri San. Three point lead to Lavanga Hokkaido. Another penetration by Lavanga, but again, it's no good. That's not a good offense. Gonna take a deflection, go out of bounds, but Brex will get it back. There's a foul coming together of some sorts. I'm not sure they pulled this move. And the foul looks like indeed that it's been pulled against Hiroto Kikuchi. Yeah, he's got hands all over him. He can't play defense like that. He's going to have to go to the bench. Third foul ready on Kikuchi. And he only subbed in here in the second quarter. So coming back in now for Novanga Hakaeda, Tsukasa Nakano. As Yusuke Endo going to the free throw line here for the Brex Nation. And look at the traveling Utsunami and Brex fans behind the bench. Ball game just over three minutes left here in the first half. The Ranger Hawkeye trying to hold on. They won yesterday by eight points. Looking to replicate the same success here today. Not going to pick a pop. Looks the attack goes in. Trying to delay a good defense by Brock Jarrett. A nice seal off there by Isaac Fotu. And it's going to count. And that's why Fotu, this man, if you ever want to measure a basketball IQ, he would be a super genius. Timeout's going to be called 2.44 left here in the second quarter. We're tied up at 34 apiece.
moments here. Still with two and a half left in the fourth quarter. Brooks inside the paint. Fouls going to be drawn. A lot of fouls given away here so far in the first half. Both teams not exhibiting the most discipline on the defense. It looks like it was supposed to be a Spanish pick roll sequence, but there was no back screen on Brooks, Brooks after he set the ball screen. Von Burks currently at the free throw line here for Levanga Hokkaido. Well, he's been relatively attractive so far this season, Devon Burks. He's played with Shimano, Susanna Magic, and the Ruki Golden Kings. He was fast clear back in Italy back in 2014. Download of Foti. Foti twist, huh? what a post move, but I see Foti will go back to the free throw line. The foul is going to be played against Kohei Sekino. Foto missing the free throws. So Brooks do get them back. Another first chance here. Every great team. That's being tested. And they did lose yesterday. You've got to give credit to Levanga Hokkaido. And that counts of individuals. It's just finding consistency. It's Itarugo from the baseline. And they connect. Both two fighting for the offensive board. And that's what makes Andrew Foto a great player. Now that three pointer would never have happened. Had it not been for Isaac Foto. Great shot by Hinori Watanabe. But Foto keeps fighting. Fighting the second chances. Giving Rex every opportunity to compete in this game. And now the back up by two. Three coming up. Foto with another rebound. And the 90 seconds left here in the second quarter. The one possession ball game. Has the ball screen pulls up in mid range. Pass rolls its way in and out. Well, looks like a foul's gonna be pulled against Demar Burks for an elbow in the face, I believe. Seiji Karuga now it's incidental, but the thing is, when the elbows fly around, they become dangerous. So the question over the referees, do they upgrade this? Or do they just keep it as a regular foul? Let's have a look at the replay. See, I don't think Brooks has tried to maliciously. Oh, right there. Yes. Okay. That angle says it all. From one angle, I thought he was innocent. I still think he's a great person. No doubt. I'm sure he's a lovely human being. But the other angle, the elbow was used to push away. So, unfortunately, Devon Brooks, loads of respect for you, brother. But I think that's going to be upgraded. But take nothing away from Devon Brooks. He's a great basketball player. Magnificent career. Also played in Germany for many. Byroid. But I think this is going to get upgraded to an unsportsmanlike foul, unfortunately. Basel fans, remember this is the second game in this doubleheader this week in between Utsunami of Brex and Lovanga Hokkaido. The one decision that the referees made regarding Jamal Brooks. Wow. They've gone with a regular foul. Well, I'd say Brooks is a very lucky man. Because that elbow was used to push off Seiji Karuga. Well, I guess I need to get out of the rule book and start to learn a little bit more about the game of officiating. 
Quite frankly, I am stunned. Well, we play on though, of course, two free throws coming up here for Seiji Ikaruga. Well, no free throws indeed, it was a team control top of the a great job defensively by Lavenga Hokkaido because the back pick exactly was going to lead to a wide open slam dunk. You can see Rod Jarrett just getting the better of Darrell Willis. They don't want to try and fall for the same dummy play again. Got to step back, three point in hand his face, can't get it. Rebound has been secured by Lovanga Hakaido. Trying to tie this one up. Maybe take the lead with the three pointer. There's a penetration, there's a float, it's just too strong, but the offensive rebound. No deal from Carol Willis. Don't try to take his pop at three pointer. We're gonna love it when the Utsunami of Bretts. Bretts, that is. They pick it, they pop it, and they make it the three pointer. Five tenths difference between game and shot clock here for Lavanga Hokkaido, so they can go to the very final shot here of the first half. Well, he tried this pick and pop it himself. He's not able to get it. Now, Bretts do have five seconds. Gando, trying to watch it out there. Watanabe off the dribble, almost got it. Well, Basel fans, it's the end of the first half at Utsunami Brex, the team with the best record in the Japanese B-League, have a five-point cushion against Lovanga Hokkaido. These teams met yesterday. Lovanga Hokkaido got the victory, but it could be different here today. Well, we'll take a break for 20 minutes. Go get a drink. Go get something to eat, but don't go anywhere too long. We will be back for the second half momentarily. パフォーマンスです。本日は日本初のプロダンスリーグ
とは違ってやはり目でしっかりとプレーを確認してからプレーするっていうことがあのしっかりとできているんだなっていうふうに感じましたそしてコートサイドで実際、観戦いただいたオリモ社長なんですが、はい、感じたことを何かありますかいや僕もあの耳栓をして2クォーターと4クォーターちょっと観戦させてもらったんですけどやっぱり聞き,取れ聞き取りづらいっていうのは、まああのー、もちろん経験がないのでちょっとこう、あのー、感覚的なものは分からないんですけども。でも、まあ、あの僕もプレイヤーの時には本当に、ね、ファンの方がたくさんいて歓声が上がるとそういったコールだとかいろんなことが聞こえない場面って非常に多いんですよ、だからその中で例えばあの手を使ってコールをするだとかあとはアイコンタクト、今あの言った通りアイコンタクトでっていうことが大切になってくるんで、まあ、もちろんその聞こえる、聞こえないっていうところはあると思うんですけども。まあ、プレーの中で、えー、バスケットボールはバスケットボールなんでそういった意味では練習を、ね、あのより多くしていけば、まあ、聞きづらかろうが聞こえようがあのいいプレーはできるんじゃないかなというふうふには感じましたけど特に織茂さんは現役時代はシューターでパスをどちらかというと受けるタイプのプレーヤーだったと思いますけれども。はいはい普段の練習から選手にこうやった方がいいよというアドバイスを与えるとしたらどういうところでしょう、えー、と僕はあの特にあのシュートを打つまでの過程を大切にしてあとはキャッチングが結構すべてだと思っていたのでそのパスをもらうあのよく子供たちにもよく言うんですけど声を出さなくてもあの手を出せば人ってパスくれるんですよ。でそういった意味ではしっかり手を出して、まあ、これ、正直、あのー、手を出すだけなんでそこに疎通があれば必ずパ,パスが来るんでねそういった意味で僕は心がけてましたけど、はいまあ、そういったところを練習に取り入れるとよりそうですねこうやっぱり聞こえる、聞こえないは別にして手を出せば必ず相手は反応しますしパスも来る回数は増えると思うんでね。やっぱりそういったジェスチャーだとかアイコンタクトというのは非常に大切になってくるかなと思いますけど、はい、非常に、ね、プレイヤーの方にも参考になるお話だったのではないでしょうか、えー、今回行いましたこのデフバスケのデフとは英語で耳が聞こえないという意味なんですねそして東京2025デフリンピックというのが開催されますデフリンピックというのは聴覚障害者のための世界規模の総合スポーツ競技大会日本で開催されるのは初めてですちなみにパラリンピックにはこのカテゴリーはないということになります70から80カ国の国や地域から3000人以上が日本に集います今回の全座試合を通して少しでもデフに興味を持っていただきそしてデフリンピックの存在を知りロシ者に興味を持っていただければと思います機会があったら皆さんもぜひ耳栓をしてバスケットしてみてください聞こえない世界聞こえづらい世界には新しい発見があるかもしれませんこの時間はサーティーガールズの野口真由美さん、堀越社長にお話を伺いました。ありがとうございました。はい、ありがとうございました。
何かえいやー嬉しいですねWell, welcome back, Bastos fans. Second half about to get in the way here between Utsunia Brex and Lavenga Hokkaido. So currently, it is a lead for the visitors who have the best record currently in the Japanese B League. And things, of course, are going slightly better here for Lavenga Hokkaido. They did have a lead at one point. Indeed, it's not a Brex of finding some back in this game. There's a lot by Ron Jarrett taking advantage. And he's trying to sleep, trying to sleep there on the box of the line with Darrell Willis. Well, here's a fadeaway coming from Reed Travis, and consistency has been the issue so far this season. For Lavenga Hakaido. They're trying to find a way to play through the final two quarters. Lead with the victory. That is going to be the challenge. Transition play finding Demont Brooks going in like James Worthy with the reverse layup. Getting around. That's one way Lavenga Hockey can try to get the win tonight. Get more buckets on the fast break. There's a three pointer by Seiji Ikaruga, the veteran player for the Brex. folks who do him like he does best. Man, most of these fresh players mean all of them except for Grant Jarrett and DJ Newbill. They were all part of the championship team back in 2022 that defeated the Ruku Golden Kings. Well, so far, Brex, 7 for 13 from the perimeter, 5 for 15 here for Lavenga Hokkaido. With the rebound count going in favor of the visitors. And Lavenga Hokkaido do have one more offensive rebound for that matter. Well, the assist count, of course, you can see both teams trying to get into the mix and facilitate very well, but turnovers, well, they have been a big issue for Lavenga Hokkaido and Utsunami and Brex combined. I feel like the team that minimizes the amount of turnovers could very well be the team that leaves with the victory. The leading scorer so far here for Utsunami and Brex. No surprise to see Hinori Watanabe leading with 10 points. He's been on fire. DJ Newbill currently with 8 points. The joint scoring of Yusuke Endo. And of course, Grant Jarrett. They have 7 each combined total of 14. But other players need to step in and step up tonight. If the Brex are going to take the victory. No Makoto Hiyajima here this evening. Head coach on Adara right now, he is being led by Demont Brooks, who has nine points. Followed up here, indeed. And Shuto Terrazano with seven. Again, no players from Lavanga Hokkaido currently in double digits. Again, something they need to try and turn around this game if they're going to take the victory here this evening. Slight bit of foul trouble, though. You tell Matsushita. Along with the likes of Hiroto Kikuchi picking up three fouls, so they need to make sure they stay out of foul trouble. And of course, Kikuchi's going to stop here in the second half. Along with Matsushita. Get to the Brex, you want to go right at them, draw the fouls against them, get them into a bit of trouble.
it, trying to start things off. Leading by five points. And building momentum early on is going to be the key here for the visitors. They did lose yesterday against Lavenga Hokkaido. He's got to extending this to a eight, seven point ball game, excuse me. Seiji Karuga. Lavenga Hokkaido trying to bounce back now. That was going to be pulled against Gavin Edwards. Edwards, what was he doing? He almost slapped three Travis in the face. Now running time the shot clock. Good Travis going to the mid range. Travis will get this one. So that he's more effective as a back down post player. Indeed, he has been going. We're off in the mid range. Well, if that is going to be a foul against Matsushita, that's going to be his fourth personal foul. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they're going to plan on making a change, but if he gets one more, he's out of the game. He's getting to Kona Street. Now it is indeed a nine point ball game, too. It's on the of Rex. Seven points for Yusuke Endo. Well, the Utsun on the of Rex. Looking to extend that. Great record here in the B League. They're going to cement the home court advantage in the playoffs. And then a turnover coming, and here comes the Brex. Led by DJ Newbill. Looking to go to a double digit lead. Looking finds Endo. Down low finds Edwards. Now it is an 11 point ball game. Is Lavenga Hokkaido. They need to call timeout because it's all Utsunami of Brexit in the second half. And that's become a big issue. Mario Sasa, his team in total control, and maybe chasing another B League championship. That's just a good defense by the Brex. DJ Newbill coming up with it. And look how quickly this team's able to get the bull ahead and pay, make them pay the price in transition. Just such beautiful, organized, effective basketball coming from the Brex Nation. Now, one minute 30 gone so far here in the third quarter. And indeed, Brex here leading by 11 points. Lavenga Hokkaido, they need a response. We've got to give a shout out to Nicholas Maglagit. Maglagit is currently watching from Doha, Qatar. And Nicholas is always tuning in to B League games, and he is a B League super fan. And Brex coming up with a loose ball, trying to push this one. Coming off one screen, step back, made a few threes. That's a little too short. The rebound's been secured. Now Lavenga Hokkaido. Still looking for that first field goal here with the second half. Trying to get something going. Looking for the ISO. Brooks goes a fadeaway. Dying seconds, but can't get it. Rex come up with another rebound. Looking to extend. And here's a play that want to get going from the perimeter because he's going to end up. I mean, 
He's the first assistant three point shooter. He made the two threes. A nice play as Fosu just didn't a little too much on that one. But that's good execution collectively by the Brex. There's a penetration, fumbles it, but it goes out of bounds, and it will remain Lavenga Hokkaido Bowl. Kohei Sakino coming back in for Lavenga Hokkaido. Coming for Matsu Shitsu, who did pick up four foul moments ago. Time winding down, has to shoot this one. Brooks goes up. Yeah, good defense by DJ Newbill. No, they're going to call a foul here. So DJ Newbill is going to get called for a foul. Well, no foul called, no. Good defense. 24 second violation. Well, the reaction from DJ Newbold may have given you the idea that a foul was going to be called. They go pick the pop. Mills a three pointer. Now it's a 14 point ball game. Well, Nicholas Maglangi, no Dwight Ramos today. Not sure if it's injury or the coach's decision. Well, Ranga Hockey is struggling immensely here in the second half of the moment. We're going to throw this down low. Fosu Twist is turning too dominant. Well, Isaac Fosu too big, too strong, too intelligent, and simply just too good. The MVP of all MVPs, Isaac Foto, originally from, well, born in the United Kingdom. It is made by the New Zealanders. Great player, great person. Great job is hitting a much needed three pointer. Cutting it down to a 10 point ball game. Nine points tonight for Reed Travis. Endo pump fakes. Picks out. D3 coming. And Isaac Fotu, oh, Superman, just put on the Utsunami of Brex cape. And is there anything this man cannot do? Well, Manu Fotu, are you watching, brother? Isaac is bowling. And they're trying to go for three. This one's way off the mark. But those are the kind of shots they're going to take. It could be a long second half here for Lavanga Hokkaido. Something goes in. No good, gets his own rebound, but he's going to go to the free throw line with 4.46 left here in the third quarter. Timeouts going to be called here by Lavanga Hokkaido. Currently they need to find a way back in this game, but we'll see what Coach Onodera has to say to his players when we come back in just under one minute.
Solid shooting coming so far here from the Utsunami of Brex. They have been on fire so far. Seiji Ikaruga coming the free line here for the Brex Nation. He's going to play some good minutes so far for this team. Hope to see them back in championship contention this year. Well, D3 comes from downtown to do a spot by Tsukasa Nakano. Trying to keep this crowd back in it. It's still the Brex holding on to the lead at the moment. Go bull screen here. Brian Jarrett steps back. Another three, and the Rex are on fire at the moment. They are just not missing. There's Makoto Hiyajima, and even without Makoto Hiyajima, they're simply cooking an entree at the moment. Newville heavily defended. Kind of one screen, nowhere to go here. Defense, 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 defense. Okay, we're going and missing it out of control, but he by 17 points. Momentum completely going in favor of Utsunami and Brex, but it all starts with that defense, which has been suffocating so far. Olavanga Hokkaido, another three by Nakano, no good. Goes in, draws contact, no foul called. Let's come back up with it. Why not? Wide open three, and Ken. Well, they good looks, but they're just pulling off at the moment. And this is where Lavenga Hokkaido needs to take advantage. When it's missing wide open shots, you've got to score now. Final seconds on the shot clock. Got to force up the three. Good defense. It's going to be a 24 second violation. And a double change coming in for the Brex. Karuga along with Gavin Edwards will leave. Yusuke Endo along with Isaac Fotu checking back in. A good defense by Seiji Ikaruga. Think about the Brex. Collectively, this team is full of experienced players, championship DNA caliber veterans. Definitely made Nomi Osasa's job so easy this year since taking over as head coach. Last season, the year after they won the championship. But the Hokkaido still looking for another field goal. The defense making it very tough. Blocking fouls going to be pulled against Yusuke Endo. Well, Demont Brooks coming back in the game with 2.29 left during the third quarter. They trail by 17. And offensively, they need to find some game plan. There's a little floater in the lane. Big rebound coming for Grant Jarrett. The three pointer would take this to a 20 point ball game. And now Endo finding Grant Jarrett. Patient build up here from the Brex. Jarrett hasn't made a three tonight, but he's short on this one. Run downtown at the moment. In the lane now. That's a much better response by Lavenga. Okay, there's Demont Brooks nailing it from downtown. Ball point so far here for Brooks. 
19 points, not the biggest deficit in the world, so they can definitely come back, but it's going to be possession by possession here for Lavenga Hokkaido. Oh, good defense by Daryl Willis. This is where Hokkaido need to be good here. Being clinical. Ruchi foul is going to be called against Watanabe. Well, he was Utsunami of Brecht's top score at the end of the first half. And that's only his first personal foul. Well, 14 point ball game at the moment. As Lavenga Hokkaido will get this on the sideline, trailing by double digits. 125 left here in the third. Looks looking for a handoff. Trying to come up a double high screen. Kicks out. Will it step back? Three. It's up. That's a little too short. Well, the home crowd definitely would have got into this one if he made that. And now Endo trying to make something happen. Just patiently taking the time here. Letting the clock wind down. Got just too easy on the penetration by Grant Jarrett. He now has nine points. It's Makoto Hiyajima. Watches off on the bench. Appreciating. But even due to his absence, his team, his teammates in that matter, still dominating here on the basketball floor. Well, it comes the ISO 3 and stuff, and again, it's just no fluidity here in the offense. It's all about the individual isolations. Well, the Brex, on the other hand, is Watanabe draws a foul. And he'll go back to the free throw line. The foul is on Tsukasa Nakano. Two free throws coming up for the Brex Nation. That's now an 18 point ball game. Final possession of the third quarter for Lavenga Hokkaido. Terrazano draws a foul, and it's not a bad foul because it's only the 14th foul against Utsunomiya Brex. This one's going to be called against Atsuya Ogawa. We don't want to get another, give another way a foul. There's a penetration step back inside the lane. Got it. Big time move by Shuto Tenazono. But they still trail by 16. But maybe that will give them some confidence going into the fourth quarter. Rex won the third quarter 22 to 11. They lead 63 to 47. We'll be back in just under two minutes for the final 10 play.
Again, the fourth quarter, it's indeed a 60-point lead to the visitors. Remember, they lost yesterday by eight points. No Dwight Ramos here for Lavenga Hokkaido. And they just get rejected. The fall is no good. The foul indeed is going to be called against Darrell Willis. Oh, Willis should have got called for an offensive foul there, but good rejection by Gavin Edwards. And this time, Willis tells you to call for the foul. Down low to Grant Jarrett. Posting up here against the model. A bit of a turnaround twist and move. Are you kidding me? Grant Jarrett, smooth, cool as you like inside the low block. 11 points. 18 point lead to Tsunami of Brex. I'm winding down here on the shot clock. Gotta get something going. Which finds a three much here, but we can't get it. Now a chance for the Brex to go by 20. Eagle coming off one ball screen. Finds Grant Jarrett. Pick and pop. The three is up. No good. Now it's going to be called against Demont Brooks. Second team foul against Lavenga Hokkaido here in the fourth and final quarter. She's on the rebound. They felt Brooks was trying to push Gavin Edwards. Well, both players are going at it. And then Brooks gets penalized for the foul. Third personal foul against Demont Brooks. As Reed Travis checks back into the game for Lavenga Hakaido. We go down the middle, hangs up in the air, and he almost made it. And that looked like a tough, tough move. Going up from the middle range, cutting it down. Possession by possession. They've got to play with confidence. Shuto Terrazano. 11 points here in the fourth quarter. One of those kidding muster at the moment. Watanabe finding Gavin Edwards. The Japanese Olympians getting a call for the offensive foul, I believe. 8 oh, 8 oh no. They're going to call this against Lavenga Hokkaido. So Terrazano. He's actually going to pick up his third personal foul. And so go for three. And this guy, though, made those first two open three pointers, and he kind of felt it was going to be his evening. One of those plays, he doesn't miss. He doesn't stop shooting with a deep three pointer. And Shuto Terrazano cutting it down to a 13 point deficit. 7 47. As no, Coach Sasa wants a cool timeout. His team lost by eight yesterday. Doesn't want to see a similar situation tonight. So trying to calm down this 5 0 run coming from Lavenga Hokkaido. Well, 5 0 run. Lavenga Hokkaido more like coming from Shuto. Terrazano from downtown. Big time three.
Welcome back. Play resumes. Final 7.40 to go here in the final quarter. Watsonari pulling up the long two. The foot is on the line. No good. Rebound's been secured by Lavenga Hokkaido. Want to build the momentum. Where they come so far. Willis goes in. Hits the M1. Now it's a 7 0 run for Lavenga Hokkaido. Well, that is just a big time play by Darrell Willis. Well, Willis went inside the lane, made the contact. All of a now, this could very well be a very close game. Willis has to make this free throw. Well, originally from Wisconsin, went to Wichita State. Skyler, his pro career in Cyprus. He played in Russia, Italy, Ukraine. And then briefly played in Korea before coming to the Japanese B League. Disappointing thing about Lavenga Hokkaido today has been the defense. I mean, no effort whatsoever to play any common sense there. And it's already against Lavenga Hokkaido's. She counts the Nakano. And another foul committed. Don Jarrett trying to say may have got hit somewhere where he may not have appreciated it. Push off. Yep, right there you can see. So there's the foul out. His night is over. Unfortunately, he took 3,000 the first half. So Hiroto Kikuchi getting fouled out. Two-point ball game at the moment. Lavenga Hokkaido do not have plenty of time left. We go for another quarter three. It's off no good. But it's one of those if you make it. Great job. You miss it. It's just not a good shot selection. Now Brex. I think to extend the lead a little bit further. Endo pulls up. Three off the screen. Just a little off to the right. Going another wide open three and something. Oh, geez, nobody going in for an offensive rebound. Maybe very well could be the difference in this game. Well, folks, you look at the process one up, finding Yusuke Endo. Maybe trying to post up, goes in, gets rejected, but gets his own rebound, and he punishes. Lavanga well, Hakaido is actually Seiji Ikaruga, my apologies. Well, Ikaruga has had some good moments. The regular starter here for Tsunami and Brex. Lavanga well, Hakaido getting the drop now. Sukasa Nakano hitting it from 15 feet. The 27 year old, 185 centimeter. Oh, God. Going up, no good. 13 point deficit still just over halfway left here in the fourth quarter. Lavanga Hokkaido winning yesterday by eight points. Can they come back? They're going to need to build the momentum. Willis looking to penetrate. Hangs in the air and he turns it over. And Utsunami and Brex will get it back. Timeout's going to be cool as these two teams will talk it over. But as it stands, we're under five minutes at Utsunomi of Brex. They have a 13-point lead looking to take back a victory that they missed yesterday against Lovenga Hokkaido.
Well, we're back in the way. Apparently, it is indeed Utsunami of Brex who still lead by 13 against Lavenga Hakaido. Oh, Jared looking for a handoff. Find Seiji Karuga. Nice little love pass. Jared Pompe finishing, and now it is a 15 point ball game to the Utsunami of Brex. Well, a victory today for the Brex. We've been staying in front as the B League's number one team with the best record. I'll go to 45 and 10. Hesitation draws a foul. The yeah, one's going to be cold. So Kohei Sakino will go to the free throw line here for the three point play. A nice little hesitation by Sakino. Yeah, just putting the moves on the defense. Well, it's a case of Watoro. Murakishi just needs to learn how to defend. I mean, this is the Japanese B League, B1 for that matter. Highest level of pro basketball here in Japan. And definitely one of the fastest, let's say, for the the summit. The exponential growth of Japanese basketball and its quality, it's been phenomenal in the last eight seasons. Developing great Japanese players, getting great Filipino and international players to come to the league with NBA and EuroLeague experience. No reason why, or no wonder, Japan is becoming the most popular destination in the international world of hoops. Nice penetration, finishing under intense pressure by Seiji Ikaruga. Ikaruga was a part of that championship team back in 2022, defeating the Riku Golden Kings in the final. And he spectacularly won that final in Yokohama. As Lee Travis picketh, he poppeth. And he maketh the triplet. Trying to get down to 11 points. Well, they've got to keep on pushing here. So the Venga Hawk hit it. Must get stops on defense. Nice pass and going down to Gron. Jarrett. Little nice jump with the follow by Isaac Kotu. This is what you have to appreciate here about it. Tsunami of Rex. They just continue to be hungry. We go off to every single second chance basket. 17 points for John Jarrett here this evening. Nice little time coming. Trying to make something happen. Three seconds left. Down low. Willis draws a foul. That's only the third team foul against Utsunami Brex. I believe this one's going to be called against Wataru Murakishi. The change coming in for La Vega Hokkaido is Shuto Terazono checking back into the game. Still pick and roll, mid range is up, he turns down the temperature and may have turned up the AC with that shot. Well, there's the floater, great hands by Grant Jarrett, and all of a sudden now it is indeed a 15 point ball game with 2.16 to go here in the fourth quarter. 19 points coming for Grant Jarrett. And it's all Utsunami of Brex looking to set the record straight on their defeat to Lavenga Hokkaido yesterday. Brex Nation on their way to getting a big victory here today and remaining the B League's number one team of 45 wins and only 10 defeats. Well, they want to bring back the championship. They won it in 2022. They didn't make the playoffs last year. But the B League trophy could be very well going back to Utsunamiya this season. Yeah. <laughs> 
And over two minutes to go. And Travis in the game. Pulling up in the mid range. It's off no good. Rebound secure by Isaac Fochi. Brex in fine form as we head towards the B-League playoffs. Number three going to put back is no good. And that's where Wataru Murakishi, right now you gotta earn your minutes. You gotta earn your spot in the rotation. Willis D3, this one's up and it's good. And it cuts it down to 12-point deficit. The one thing here for Lavanga Hokkaido, they gotta try and get some stops here in the next two possessions. The foul has been called. Indeed, he's going to be called against Utah Matsushita. Well, Kaito Shike is about to check in. It's going to be a provisional substitution to 22 year old. So if Inori Watanabe misses the second free throw, Shike won't be coming in right away. But I imagine he'll want to just finish the night and take a breather. So he most likely will be wanting to hit this free throw. Three to go. Brex leading by 14. Lavanga Hokkaido can take a lot of inspiration from the victory yesterday against the Brex. They want to get a huge form of well, confidence if they won two in a row, but that's not going to be the case here today. Championship chase of Utsunami and Brex on their way to going to 45 and 10 here in the Japanese B League. Nowhere to go on a penetration. Goes in finishing with the B E A beautiful move, and even the former NBA player Yuta Tabuse. I think you love that one. 16 points of difference. Well, then the Hokkaido probably won't get relegated from the new league. And it's not going to be making the playoffs. The question is going to be next season who needs to come in? What changes need to be made? Another foul is going to be committed. So free throws coming up here for Utsunami of Rex. It's going to be against Shuko Terazono. Well, it's been a great game for the Brex. Job is almost done. And now Lavenga Hokkaido, it's all a consolation for them. Really sitting it off the dribble from the mid range. And that cuts it down to 15 points. He has 11 here this evening. Just not enough productivity from the Lavenga Hokkaido players, at least not enough to get them into a competitive situation in the second half. Winding down the shot clock. Brex got to get something going. Rodano goes in. Finishing with a tough move with a capital T. Well, international basketball fans, we do thank you for joining us here in this B-League matchup in the beautiful island of Hokkaido. But at the end of this one, it is indeed Utsunami of Brex 84, Lovanga Hokkaido 67. What a victory it was for the Brex Nation. Kabuse obviously shaking hands and giving a hug to Rota Sakurai. Both players 
paying homage. Veteran, former NBA, the first ever Japanese-born player in the NBA. Along with Kosuke Takeuchi. So many veterans on this team, but again, they are number one in the Japanese B-League. Big, big win here for the Brex. Another defeat yet again for Lavenga Hokkaido, even though they won yesterday against the Brex. The Brex, it's a different outcome for them in the postseason. Playoff contention yet again, yet again. Championship chasing yet again. And the Brex fans making the flight here from Utsunomiya all the way to the beautiful island in the north of Japan, Hokkaido. Great job here by the Brex Nation. Sendai 89ers. This will be a key matchup for them. They will be looking to close out the regular season with a bang. Great job here by the Brex Nation. Well, we're going to hear momentarily from coaches, captains, and MVPs for this game, but tough defeat for Lavenga Hokkaido. Well, he's definitely enjoyed his veteran role status with this team. Yuta Tabuse was regarded as one of the greatest players ever out of Japanese basketball in the same contention as the great Makoto Hasegawa, who played for Nigata Alborex back in 2005-2006. Now the modern day era, it's all about the likes of Yuta Watanabe and, of course, Hashimura. Well, we're going to hear from the coaches, captains, and MVPs of this game to get their thoughts and reflection on this magnificent game between Utsunami Brex and Lavenga Hokkaido. It's Ray Travis picking up the home player game of award. Again, you can see the disappointment in these Lavenga Hokkaido players. It's all about growing pains. Do they want to keep this team together? Let's listen now to the coach. Thank you for coming to the game. 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 にやっぱりちょっとスリーポイントの方を主体でねえやられてしまったところまあちょっと難しいんですけどやっぱり通面ゲームなんでまあそこの対応をしっかり今日したっていうところとあとまあオフェンスに関してはねえっとまあやっぱりこう比江島がこういない中で高島もいない中でこうまあそんなに DJ ダルミって形じゃなかったんですけれどもどうしてもやっぱりあの積極性がやっぱりちょっと足りてなくてで今日本当にあの最初遠藤がやっぱり自分で持っていってで本当に二コーターの途中な渡辺が流れ変えてで三コーター本当にイカルガがえ本当にステップアップしてドライブ仕掛けてくれててまあ本当にこうまあむしろ本当に DJ も使わないような状況が今日多かった中で本当にあのまたいい本当に素晴らしい勝ち方を選手作ったと思うのでまたこれが一つの武器になって本当にでかい勝利でした。えー、北海道が67失点と、えーはい、らしいディフェンスができたんじゃないかなと思うんですけどそこら辺はどううだったんでしょうかいや本当にあの今日はし,あのしっかりあのそういったあの部分でみんな集中してたと思いますし、まあ、ちょっとまた途中でも、ね、グラントもあの故障とかありそうでしたけど本当に気持ち入れてビッグマンもあのペイントコントロールしてくれてリバウンドもコントロールしてくれて本当に素晴らしかったです。えー、チャンピオンシップは、えー、決めてますがこれからあの熾烈な順位争いがあると思うんですけどそこら辺は、えー、どのような、えー、ことを、えー、豊富だでしょうか、まあ、そうですね、あのー、本当に一つ一つの試合を大事にしてこうやって、まあ、昨日は本当に負けてしまいましたけれどもそこからこう連敗しないというまた選手の素晴らしさ本当に、あのー、プライドを感じましたしで本当に、あのー、また今日も本当にステップアップす今まででこのあの何試合の中で本当にステップアップ試合だったので。あのこれからもあと残りわずかですけどそういうね成長にフォーカスしてあんまり順位意識しないでやっていきたいと思います、えー、最後にあの今日あの今年が櫻井選手ラストシーズンで櫻、はい、井選手が出てきた後にすぐ田臥選手を
ヘッドコーチが呼んだと思うんですけど、はい、そこら辺はどうだったんでしょうかいやいやもうねあの僕実は桜井さんよりあの後輩で桜井さんはね本当に僕の中でこうリアルルカワスラムダンクのルカワでもう高校生の時にあの四つか一工業でねあのやっぱりノショに対して倒したっていうあのインパクトが強くてまあそういう最後ねこう少し記憶に残るようなあの形でまあ皆さんにあのシェアできたら良かったなと思いますけどまあもうちょっとね長い間プレーしたのがもっとあの良かったと思いますけどはいでもまあコート二人出てあの本当に良かったなと思ってますはい。えー、また次の試合から期待してますお疲れ様でした、はい、ありがとうございますこれは言葉を聞きましたノリオ・サッサーのウツラミア・ブレックスこれは素晴らしいことで、このチームを復活しての試合を終わったこの試合を終わったこの試合を終わった As they went from winning the B League Championship in 2022 to all of a sudden not even making the playoffs last season. And you got to give this man some credit. They made their way back to the B League contention this year, and now they are the number one team as it stands in the regular season. Well, Norio Sasa also said that Hokkaido made many three pointers yesterday. Because it made their defense quite difficult.、はい、Without he, he had to say, the whole offense was not even led us to a win today. In the next game, we're going to be the champions. Let's listen now to Yusuke Endo. So, this is the first time I've been here. I've been here for a long time. 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 やっていこうという話をあのして、今日まあスタートからいいスタートが切れたんじゃないかなと思います。えっ、ー、と昨日はやっぱりスリーポイントの確率が上がってこなくて苦しいんだと思うんですけど、あ今日はあの遠藤選手のスリーポイントが始まったゲームだったんですけど、そこら辺はどのような感じでしょうか。でしょうか。そうですね。えっ、ー、と今日最初のあのポジションのオフェンスで自分にデザインされて、やっぱり昨日入,入んなかった分今日最初から決めなきゃいけないなという気持ちもあったし、まあそれが入って。えー、自分もいいリズムに乗れたんで、えーまあ、チームとしてもそれ、あのー、今日はみんなスリーポイント結構入ってたので、まあ、このリズムがブレックスらしさだと思うので、まあ、これからも続けていければいいなと思います、えー、最後に、あのーまあ、櫻井選手、田臥選手と、えー、大先輩のマッチアップはどのように見てましたでしょうか、ね、そうですね、やっぱり、あのー、この、あのー、日本のバスケット界を引っ張ってきた2人が。あえてマッチアップする場面が、まあ、あの今年で櫻井さんは引退というふうに聞いてますけどやっぱり、まあ、何度見てもあのいい光景だなと思うし、まあ、自分もああいう2人のようになれるように頑張らなきゃなと思います、えー、また、えー、これから東地区の順位が熾烈になると思いますけど、えー、期待していますお疲れ様でしたありがとうございました。Well, there were the words by Yusuke Endo, and again, he started the game off on fire with two three pointers. and He was one of the key players back in 2022, along with Makoto Hijima, that helped the Brex win their first B League championship. Well, the Brex Nation, the Utsunamiya Brex fan base, making their way in the building here tonight and showing their support. It's quite a long journey from Utsunamiya, if you think. It's not me, it's roughly two hours north of Tokyo. While Hokkaido is an island off the north of the mainland of Japan. Well, Yusuke Endo's words were in fact that we learned yesterday collectively as a team from the mistakes they'd made in the game against Hokkaido, in which they did lose to the home team. But today, the three point shots they made, they created with high percentage looks. And they made those shots, and they made them very well. And that was the key message from Yusuke Endo. His collective growth in building this unit as a team. Well, you gotta ask the question where next with these two teams? Well, in the case of Utsunami and Brex, as we mentioned, job number one from last year was improvement, get into the playoffs. Job number two, dream just a little bit further. And when I mean dream, chase that championship, bring another one back to Utsunami. We live the days of 2022 when they defeated the Ruku Dolby Kings in the two game final series. One of those heartbreak for Utsunami and Brax in 2021 when they lost to the Chiba Jets. Yuki Tagashi set aside beating Ryan Rossida, who was the best player for the Brax that nation. Josh Duncan also did play for Utsunami when they 
and lost that one to B-League Championship, but now it's a new Brex, a more veteran Brex of Rod Jarrett and DJ Newbill. Isaac Fotu, and there's a part of that championship team. What a time it was to be a Brex player. What a time it was to be a Brex fan. Well, now you got to ask the question here for Lavenga Hokkaido. Where next for this team? But, you know, picking up the victory yesterday was good for morale, good for the spirit, and the optimism for moving forward. But they've got to start thinking about planning for the future. Reed Travis has obviously been a good player, a great addition for Lavenga Hokkaido. I would say they probably want to keep their imports of Daryl Willis, Jamon Brooks, and of course, Reed Travis. I mean, they're good players. I think next year, definitely what Lavenga Hokkaido is going to definitely need to need to bring in that team is probably an ultimate shooting guard. Maybe a small forward or a, I couldn't tell you. I wouldn't go for another big, but in terms of backcourt, they are loaded with good players. Shuto Terrazano, Tsukasa Nagano, Kohei Sakino, Yuta Matsushita, and Ren Shimatani, and Dwight Ramos. Five similar players. But building this team has got to be crucial. The talent is there, but it's again doing it on a consistent basis is going to be the key tricky thing for Hokkaido Lavanga going forward. We just have to appreciate and love the tempo of Utsunami of Brex. I mean, everybody plays in transition when they need to. Not just the backcourt, but also the frontcourt. Grant Jarrett, Isaac Fotu, just so quick and aggressive when they get the ball up the floor. And that's why they're number one in the B-League. second half of playing you know the problem for Lavanga Hokkaido is as you mentioned playing for four quarters you know in this first half they had the lead you have to remember they won yesterday but when you lose the third quarter 22 to 11 and you're already down by five at that point it just becomes a monumental mountain to climb here for Lavanga Hokkaido key players stepping up well key stat that we learned today in the case of Yusuke Endo, who is one of the best Japanese three-point shooters and one of the best three-point shooters in the B-League as a whole, considering all plays, is he made a huge success tonight. He hit his 300th three-pointer for Utsunami of Brex. That is incredible. 300 triples for Yusuke Endo, and they get the victory, and they move to 45-10 and 10 here in the Japanese B-League. Makoto Hiyajima inactive tonight, but again, watching off on the bench. Shuto Terrazano showing exactly what he's good at, getting inside the key and just causing problems. It definitely was a great play to say the least, but the problem, of course, for this team is indeed that. Well, I guess the issue that you do have is that they just didn't come ready to play in the second half. And that is indeed what hurt this team. A nice, nice play by Grant Jarrett, but it's the follow-up in the relentless nature to go for offensive rebounds. That indeed did cost Lavanga Hokkaido. Trying to connect with the alley -oop. Jarrett came up with it. He finished to perfection in the end. Well, another penetration. And the handoff. And that was a smooth play by Atsuya Ogawa. He's still a relatively young player, but making a difference so far here for Utsunami of Brex. And the introduction of the first ever Japanese born NBA player. Well, great to see Yuta Tabuse coming into the final few minutes, as well as Ryota Sakurai. Two veteran players, that indeed was the final possession of the game as Utsunomi and Brex take the victory. Well, both veteran players, Sakurai, 41 years age, 41 years of age. 
course, in the case of Yuta Davuse, 43. Those two have been through it all together. Well, there indeed are your final stats. In the end, Lavenga Hokkaido almost got as many three-pointers, but, well, he got actually one more. It was points inside the paints. But also the free throw count that did not go in their favor here this evening. Rex, though, 10 offensive rebounds, 34, 44 in total. Now rebounding Lavenga Hokkaido, 44 to 28. Well, it's a 17-point ball game. Of course, the issue is the fast break points for the Brex and just too many turnovers for Lavenga Hokkaido. Well, if you want to be successful at the Japanese B-League level, Utsunami and Brex, they are the minimum standard. Champions in 2022. Coach Norio Sasa was the assistant coach when they won the championship, taking over last season. So still a lot of expectation for him to fill. Well, there are your leaders, Shuto Terrazono leading Lavenga Hokkaido with 14 points. Ray Travis finishing with a double-double in the end, 12 points and over 10 rebounds. While well, Glenn Jarrett leading Utsunami and Brex, Yusuke Endo with 12, as well as Watanabe. Well, we are going to show you more statistics momentarily, and we'll also show you the schedule of the upcoming B-League games to come. Well, you can see so far the rebounding count going in favor. Donald Willis led all rebounds along with Isaac Foto, 11 each. Glenn Jarrett was one rebound away from a double-double. And Yusuke Endo was actually three rebounds away from a double-double for that matter as well. There are your rebounding leaders. Jamal Brooks and Reed Travis, five and four rebounds in the end. Well, nobody getting in the double digit mark for the assists. Ren Shimatani had six assists. Same goes for Seiji Ikaruga. Yusuke Endo, oh, five assists and three rebounds away from a triple double tonight. Struggle with the shooting. He still had a very, very good night to say the least. Well, next week's matches in the B-League. Some big games coming up, of course. The Ibaraki Robots will be taking on the Akita Northern Happy Nets. Well, Basel fans, we thank you for joining us here in the island of Hokkaido. Goodbye, good night, and God bless. Sayonara, ayasumina sai, and arigato gozaimasu.